This is a quick video to show in real time how to use the app Markup. Markup only costs, I don't know, maybe $3, and I use it on my iPad, and it's a way that you can test things out. So let's get started. First of all, I've been working on putting more color in my portraits. So this is the cool side of the face. You see blues, purples, and greens. And um, I'm doing only people that I know. So if I know you, you can send your photo to me. The reason I'm doing only people I know is that's the only way I can be sure that I really nailed it, that I have the, the uh, resemblance. Otherwise, I'm kind of guessing a little bit. So these are members from my book group that meets every month. And so while we met this month, I was taking screenshots of them with the sun coming in the window. You know, you got to have some natural light on the face. So that's the cool side and now the warm side. Now the warm side is uh, reds and oranges and a little bit of yellow. And anything that's white, you know, I'm going to leave the white of the paper white because, as you know, that's my, my sign off. I kind of enjoy these faces because it's sort of like turning somebody into a rainbow. I kind of see people as rainbows, actually, <laughs> but, but that's, uh, that's a separate topic. So there's the cool side and the warm side. And you can see that I've blended them. To be, I haven't blended them, you know, place the, the color down and then let them blend into each other. This is what the final portrait looks like. Um, so you can see I put in the hair and also some of the clothing. Now, I am, I am going to stick with this, but I want to show how I'm going to decide what to do with the background, whether I'll leave it alone or whether I'm going to darken it up. So I'm using an app called Markup. And here's how I do that. I'm using my iPad. So there's the reference photo and the painting. Now I'm going into the app Markup. So I'm going to click on that, and I did it ahead of time, but I want to do it in real time with you, so I'm going to get rid of what I did. All right, so um, I have a pencil, an iPad pencil, which you don't need. I've been using my finger for years and years and years, but I decided to upgrade and get one of these pencils. And what I do is I mark on uh, what color I want to use from an array. They're picking the color. I want something dark. The reason is not because I'm going to put this color in, but I just want to see what would happen if the uh, background was darker. And I want to do that by, um, by using that, that little pencil thingy and putting that in and then seeing what that looks like, which is really helpful. So that was the darkest value that I could find from the choices of colors that they have. And I'm going to put that in, and then we'll look at it together and decide whether or not that background should be dark or not. I have a, I have a hunch it should probably be dark, but I don't feel like doing that right now. And there's no, you know, I'm, I'm the boss of my studio. So, um, you know, your art, your, your rules. So let's take a look at it. Come on, bring it over, honey. There we go. I like that better. So I probably am going to darken up the background. I don't know that I'll pick that color. And it doesn't matter, but I'll definitely pick that value because I think that it makes the colors in the face kind of read more as if they were flesh tones than the rainbow that they look like before. But like I said, I'll do that later, and who knows if I'll post it or not. You know how I am with paintings. As soon as I'm done with one, I'm like, oh, can't wait to get to the next one. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. That's the way it looks right now before that dark background goes in, and then I'll go ahead and do that. So that in real time is how to use the app Markup, which you can purchase. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.